Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to import opportunities into Salesforce via Data Loader. Opportunity is an object that can be imported by organizations that have API access using Data Loader. Importing many opportunity records via Data Loader is the easiest process, although there are a few things that need to be done to prepare the file. The first step is to create a new or open an existing CSV file and add the required opportunity field columns. Close date, stage name, name, account ID, owner ID. Alternatively, you can go to an opportunity record in the org and click edit. This will show the required fields based on the red asterisk. Fill in the data for each field column. For account ID, the ID of the account is required since it's a lookup field. You can either enter it manually or export a list of account IDs from Data Loader. Matching can be done if there's a matching ID in your existing file using the lookup function. For more information on VLOOKUPs, review the link on the bottom of the screen. We've also put this link in the short description of the video for you. The ID of each opportunity owner is also needed. It can also be entered manually, or a list of user IDs can be exported from Data Loader. Match up each opportunity with its correct owner. Each owner must be a user in your org. Last is to make sure the CSV file is ready to insert. For more information on preparing your CSV, review the link on the bottom of the screen. We've also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Next, open Data Loader. Select Insert, Enter Credentials, click Login, click Next, and select the Opportunity object. On the same page, click Browse and add the CSV file. Click Next and OK. Click Create or Edit a Map and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done and click Next. Select a place to save the success and error files which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. Log into the org, go to the opportunity, and notice the five opportunities we just created. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need API and Opportunity Edit permissions. If you are interested in inserting opportunities and don't have these permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.